they don't have a lot of customers and I don't think a lot of people know about the eyelash lady. The eyelash lady is bomb. They do, oh, they do have some stretch to it, so girl. You never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me, here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. I'm needing a new chapter, babe. Been stuck here in a bed for days. Okay, y'all, so my anniversary is coming up. I cannot believe it's already been a year. Y'all have been married for a year already? Like, I swear, time is going by so fast. It is so true that the older you get, the faster time goes by. Because I swear this year is just going by extremely fast. But, yeah, I, I have no idea what we're going to do. I'm pretty sure we just maybe go to dinner or do something like that. But I wanted to try and find a really cute dress to wear that just felt like I was a little more dressed up than normal. So, I'm looking for a satin dress. And I'm on Fashion Nova. But, girl, I can't find anything. <clears throat> I was looking at this one and I felt like this would be like really cute but girl like everybody that's modeling this it looked like it is making their stomach look like no okay like it's sticking out and i just don't i mean i looked at every color and every color it just don't seem like i would like it on me like it's like focused in on the tummy and i'm like what the heck about this one is making it look like this look okay so and isn't this cute it's a pretty color i mean i probably would do black it has some little um you know fur detailing going on or whatever some feathers um the black looks a little better but like it's still giving like my stomach is gonna be sticking out i just and I know my stomach is bigger than everybody that's on this um, website. So, girl, I don't know what to do, okay? And then I was looking at this one, which is cute. It's satin. It has, like, a rouge detailing. And then it has um, kind of, like, some drawstring detailing at the bottom I do like it but I do feel like it gives a little bit more of a casual vibe but I guess it depends on how I dress it up so yeah that's that but I don't know I don't know what to do so maybe I'll just get out of the satin section and just look at dresses in general y'all that's what I've been doing all this morning Every time I do like my Fashion Nova selections for the month or whatever, it takes me, I mean, hours, like literally hours to shift through everything. Thank God they have filters now where you can, you know, sort by your size and color before they didn't. I mean, and when I say I will be going through hours and hours of like just pages, it was ridiculous. So, yeah, at least I can do that now. So that's what i'm doing this morning i'm not exactly sure if everything i'm gonna do today but i know i need to get my eyelashes done girl because one eye is looking a hot mess i'll show you guys later but yes you guys that's what's happening right now <laughs> okay you guys so i am not really feeling my best right now y'all i woke up with a big old bump on my face and i rarely get bumps and stuff but i saw this one brewing all night so i tried to put some toothpaste on it and try to make it come to a head and garden came to a juicy head i don't know if i should pop it i don't know what i should do i don't want it to leave a scar i'm just like letting it simmer right now and i have to film content soon so I'm just like, girl, this is not good timing. And then also, girl, my eyelashes is a hot mess. 
one side is holding up pretty well the other side girl is pretty much is pretty much what it's looking like <laughs> so i think i'm gonna go um to go get those filled i think that will automatically make me feel a little bit better and then also girl i need to get my nails done they are looking a hot mess i'm not sure i've been really feeling like since they've been off like i can type better and hold things better and you know how you just first take them off you just feel like you can do everything easier so i just feel like maybe i should keep them off maybe for like a week or two or something like that so i might just get a manicure but girl they are so bad and so short that they would have to do a baby miracle so yeah girl i don't know i'm just feeling low energy i'm not feeling you know my best and everything else so i'm gonna go and do a couple of things that will hopefully help me feel better oh and then girl i don't know what to do with my hair like my hair okay so i've been wearing like ponytails and stuff like that which i have like an old bun that's kind of messed up now and that's my dilemma too i don't know how to wear my hair going out like i really wish i have had one of those like you know wig hats or something with the wig attached to it girl because if i had one i would wear it right now do you understand me like i would wear it instantaneously um girl I, i'm contemplating looking for this headband wig that i had a while back but it's a curly one i gotta comb it out and do all kind of stuff so girl i don't know how i'm about to show up at this nail shop <laughs> right now because my hair is a hot mess um if i can find an old nike hat i think that i'm just gonna tuck everything back and then just maybe try to put the hat on and call it a day but um yeah i'm just gonna find a little cozy set to put on and some flats and pretty much that's it but i need to figure out what to do with my hair i need like a quick two week style but i don't want to keep putting ponytails in because i press my hair for that or flat iron it sometimes <coughs> oh shoot girl what the heck <laughs> but if I do like a low bun, like the middle part bun I had, I just use gel for that. But like when I had the high ponytails with the half up, half down, I pressed my hair and I've just been constantly pressing it. And I just want to take a rest from that. So, girl, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. What could I do? I kind of want to do braids, but then I'm like, mm, some of the outfits I pick, I just don't want to wear it with braids. You know how sometimes you're like, okay. This will be cute with braids, but you're like, I really don't want to have a braided style for this look. So, I don't know. Girl, I don't know what to do. But I need to do something quick because I have a rainbow haul coming up. I have some Fashion Nova items I just picked out that, um, yeah, that I'll either be taking pictures in or doing reels. Plus, I have the Fashion Nova pics that I just did. So, that'll be coming soon. So, I need to figure out what i'm gonna do with my hair child because yeah i don't know i don't know what to do what do you guys do when you need like a quick like hairstyle that's not braids or ponytail but anyway child let me go ahead and get up out this house <laughs> Sip on it, take a trip on it. When I go, you can go slow. Bind it up on night, baby. Take your time. Let me know what I want. What I want. When you tell me what I want, when the neighbors yell, turn. Okay, guys, so this is what I will be wearing. Super simple. Um, this is a two piece long sleeve set from Fashion Nova. Um, I forget what the name is, but if I can remember, I'll try to link it down below for you guys. The flats are also from Fashion Nova. Y'all, I love these flats. They're so comfy and soft. I love them, love them, love them. And I always get compliments on them when I wear them out. And I just have on my Michael Kors watch. And this hat is from Shein. It's like a like creamish hat and it says let's chill on it. 
Um, I love it. It fits really, really good. I have a Nike black hat, but I just didn't want to have all black on. So I just threw this on for just a little bit of color. And then um, my backpack is from Amazon, which I love this little backpack. It's only 18 bucks. And y'all, if it's so much stuff in it, and it is pretty damn good quality for it to only be $18. So yeah, just something really chill and lightweight. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just finished getting my nails done and I just got like a little manicure and got my toes done and I got my eyelashes done so I'm feeling so much better about that and y'all girls seem like I was in there forever. It's one of those like places where <laughs> I go to get my eyelashes done but it isn't the place that I normally would get my nails done at and girl they don't never have nobody in there getting their nails done. <laughs> i think that it's the type of place that's kind of like old school like they don't know how to do a whole bunch of new stuff so they don't have a lot of customers and i don't think a lot of people know about the eyelash lady the eyelash lady is bomb i think she's really really good and i was going to um some girl that was taking forever i'm like when i say forever it was like oh my gosh she took forever this lady i mean i have like big eyes or whatever and she's always done with me in like 40 minutes something like that at the most i'll just put on like a little interview like a, recently i've been looking at carisha please and i'll just listen to that in my earphones while i get my eyelashes done and yeah but y'all i just realized i just realized that i have not ate anything all day not one thing um, it is 5.20 and I'm starving. I've had water and that's it. <clears throat> so I'm probably going to call Trent and Babe and see what they want to eat. Um, because I do not feel like cooking. I'm just not feeling it. I feel like I want, I wish I, I want a chicken sandwich. That's what I want. But I'm like, where's a good chicken sandwich at? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. So we shall see. I'm about to pick me something to eat. That's probably going to be the only thing I eat today. 
So it's going to be kind of omadish and yeah. But y'all, I feel so much better. My eyelashes are done. Now I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair. Why y'all didn't tell me what to do with my hair? Like, what I'm going to do? But yes, y'all, let me go find something to eat. <laughs> Y'all don't mind this toothpaste on my face. I'm still trying to get this bump to go away. Like, it's just stubborn. But I haven't popped it. I've just been trying to dry it out, dry it out, dry it out. So, yeah. So, it's the next day. And y'all, why am I pissed, girl? Why one of my nails have already chipped? I only washed a couple of dishes. And one is chipped. Um... And then grow my whole like quarter of my toenail on the left side has chipped like it peeled straight off so i'm like you know what that's probably going to be the last time i go there as far as like getting my nails done unless i'm like in a super time crunch and i have no other place to go um the other place that i normally go is much more expensive but they know how to do everything that you pretty much ask them to do they're kind of like ahead of the curve and can do pretty much anything i'm pretty simple anyway but i'm just saying just in case i wanted to do something specialty that's the place they're super organized they're huge they're always busy um but sometimes they can't take you and sometimes they're like oh we're appointment only and all that stuff so if that's the case then i might go to this place but come on like i just went yesterday and one is already chipped and girl, my toenail, like, I ain't never had a toenail chip, like, after a long time, usually. I will say the first time I went there, it was a lady named Mimi. I mean, she hooked it up, but apparently she only comes on the weekend. I asked for her. She only comes on the weekend. And I literally had my toes, like, with the full paint on it for two weeks with no issues. So, I don't know if it's just this lady. I, I feel like I don't want to have her do mine. She did my nails one time and then she did my toes one time. And both times I really didn't love it. Let me show you. Let me see if I can show y'all my toes. Uh, do y'all see that? Do you see that this peeled all the way off? Paint residue on my toe. Girl. Mm -mm. So yes, you guys, a full hot mess. Um, I wanted to show you now. I'm oh, and I think I'm gonna try to do my hair today, girl. I have so much to do. Like I have to film content. I don't know how I'm gonna do all this. I have to film content, do my hair. What else? Oh, I want to iron these clothes or like steam some rainbow clothes. I'm hoping that I could film it tomorrow. Um, I have to film some content or whatever. Let me show you guys. I want to show you. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to try something different for my hair. Y'all, I don't know how this is going to come out. But I'm like, you know what? Ain't nothing too weird but to do it. At least just try it. But I'm tired of wearing this little thing on my head. It needs like a, something cute, like a cute head wrap or something. I forgot what I got. Okay. So I'm definitely going to have to steam this. But I got this like cute little taupe. Um, like beige crop top. It has that little accordion thing going on. And it has like a front tie detailing. I think I do remember this. I think I got this to go with some plaid pants. That I hope I could fit girl because... Oh, girl, this girl, the last jeans that I had got from Rainbow, I, I wasn't able to fit them. I was so sad. I had the whole look put together and everything, girl. Okay, so these are the pants. I have, like, no plaid pants, so I definitely wanted to pick some up. They do, oh, they do have some stretch to it, so, girl, hopefully... I can fit my body in this. Oh, and I like the tapered leg on it. It feels pretty good quality. Not too thick, not too thin. And it has like a little button detailing in the front. And I thought it was going to show a little more 
like a top the taupe color to go with this but if not i think i have a black top because when the more i look at it look like it might be pink or something i don't know we'll see if the the top doesn't work with it i do have like a long sleeve black rainbow top that i think that it'll go good with with like some black booties or something so we'll do that instead so what i do before my haul is like i pretty much pull everything out sometimes i try it on just like right out the package for everybody but nine times out of ten like i'll style it in my head or style it up and then um I iron it and just make it look presentable. Like, especially if I'm going to do reels or something. And that is what I think I'm going to do with this. Y'all, I wasn't even supposed to get this. And this ended up being like a last minute little purchase. And I thought this was so cute. It's a plaid cropped top. And I see a whole bunch of plaid tops, but not a lot of them are cropped so i thought that these might look good with like just some like black jeans or something of that sort so i'm really excited to see how this like falls on me and if it looks cute so and i like it as lightweight it's not too thick sometimes i don't really like super thick it feels just too bulky and i like the color i thought that i was gonna i thought i was gonna pair this with some black jeans i already had but I bought some. I got some. Okay, so I got these um, distressed mom jeans. And let's see. This is what they're looking like. And they look like they're cropped at the leg. And they have like a little pre roll. So we'll see how these fit. What size did I get these in? Okay, so I got them in a 22. They look like they don't fit. They look pretty wide, actually. So I don't know. But you know how sometimes it ain't until you put it on your body. As soon as you put it on your body, you're like, girl, I thought that was big and fully fit. <laughs> so I got that to go with that. So I think my idea was to do like a monochromatic type of look with these different kind of like caramel, butterscotch kind of tones. So, ooh, these feel nice. I got these really cute, like caramel butterscotch paperback trousers in this faux leather material. Y'all know these are another one. I'm not sure if they're gonna fit. I hope that they do, but they feel really good and I love the color on these. So, yeah. I'm just showing you guys like a little preliminary. I'm probably going to do a whole haul, you know, with me modeling it and then, you know, reels and stuff on Lace and Leopard. So um, you'll see it all styled there, but I'm just showing you guys as I got the package, okay? <laughs> Y'all getting the first up, the heads up. Y'all know first, first. Okay, so this is the top that I'm going to pair it with, which is like kind of like a lighter color. So these my my color and my camera's tripping but basically these two colors together so you get the vibe y'all i just realized that i'm over here showing y'all full clothes with some toothpaste on my face like i'm keeping it all the way real with you guys right now oh my god oh my god i'm being a hot mess so i hope you appreciate it because girl I can't believe I got some toothpaste on my face right now showing y'all. It's up on my coloring. Oh, I look blue or something. Anyway. And then uh, I got this cute little sweater skirt. Super cute. I really like this. And the material is soft on it. Feels really good. Um, ever since I did this like fashion overhaul where I um got this like houndstooth a sweater skirt i've been like really feeling it like the sweater skirts recently because they're so soft and comfy and they're not too tight it feels really good on the waist and stuff and this one doesn't seem like it's too you know 
short and is giving it's like clueless type of vibe. So we'll see what I'll do with that. And then I have two more things, which I don't remember. Oops. I just got um like a cropped cami and I think I've been seeing a lot of these like you know the, the camis that you put underneath um you know tops or cardigans or whatever I haven't seen many that are cropped so I wanted to pick this one up it's like a little short one and it has like a double strap detailing so um I picked that up to go underneath the the green and black um cropped plaid shirt <laughs> so <clears throat> that's that and then this last piece I got is I remember this one because I wanted to try it out was this two-toned gray mock neck um is it mock neck yeah it's mock neck with a cut out in the front it's like a two-toned sweater dress where it is gray at the top and on one sleeve and then um, the rest of the dress is black so definitely wanted to get that and just get like a, a sweater dress a good sweater dress to have and yeah that's everything I mean it doesn't look like I have to iron much so I am happy about that so I'm just gonna try everything on and you know whatever I need to steam or iron I will and yeah so yes you guys I just want to show you what I got in my rainbow package be sure to look out for the reel on Instagram, Lace and Leopard, and then also the um, and then also the haul that'll be on Lace and Leopard too. Okay, so it is the next day, and y'all, I still my hair is still a hot mess, but I did go back to the nail shop and got my nail and toe fixed. So yeah, I felt much better about that. Now I'm going to go to the cleaners. I'm going to try to see if I can get this bag cleaned. Y'all, this is a bag I got maybe a year or two ago. And I started wearing it as my everyday bag. And it is pretty dirty on the outside and also on the inside. So it's looking like on the inside. I took it to the cleaner, um, to one cleaners, but they said that they don't do bags. I guess maybe liability they don't want to mess anything up but this cleaners I called them and they said that they do um, bags so I'm gonna take it up there and hopefully they could get this thing looking at back brand new and I can start wearing again wearing it again because I really do love this bag it's the perfect size I can fit all my stuff in there and I just like it it's soft and yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to work on my hair tonight. I washed it yesterday and blow dried it, and girl, I've been trying to part my hair. I didn't tell you what style I'm going to do. I'm going to try to do some Bantu knots, but girl, it is so hard to part my hair, and I have like a moving scalp too. So, girl, them parts just going to be crooked. I ain't got time. My arms was hurting. That's why I parted my hair, and then I fully took a nap. And then didn't do nothing for some hours. So now I'm just sitting with here with a parted head looking a hot mess. So yeah, I'm going to the cleaners looking kind of crazy. But I want to get it in before it closed because it's already about to go on 7. And I think they closed pretty early. So I'm going to go ahead and try to drop that off. And uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow I'll show my face on here and my hair is done. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, that's what I'm about to do right now. New Fashion Nova content coming soon. you guys to, to see if you guys could do it. yeah I think we should be fine okay yeah because it's um, as long as it doesn't have um, like any type of like um, 
big oil stains or anything that has wax because it'll be really hard to take off. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, you should be good because they do everything by hand. Okay. So they scrub and they rinse and everything by hand. Oh, nice. So it doesn't go in the machine or okay. anything because it's like they're inside the washer. Right. So no. Right. <laughs> no, yeah, but you, you. It should be fine. Good. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, Yes. Okay. Because I have this girl who is like T Y F F A N Y, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> That's you a, know and what? I just ask because right. a lot of the t- times it's not what I assume it's spelled. You know what? I actually saw a movie where a girl she spelled it with one F and then A and I's, and it, and she pronounced it Tiff Ani. So then she went by Ani for short, and I was like, what? <laughs> I never heard that as a nickname. Like, I always hear Tiff, you know, but I never yes. hear Ani, you know. I thought that was kind of cute. It is. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Do you guys do alterations here? Uh, we do. Depending on what, what do you need. So, like, um, I do, do a lot of jumpsuits and pants and stuff. Okay. Like, if I need them shortened, do oh, you yeah, do that type yeah, of stuff? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I would try it on here and you guys do the whole thing? Yeah, or if you have one that fits you really good, you can just bring that as a sample. We'll take the measurements and then you can just take it back or leave it with us, however you like. You could do it either way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Either way. So, is this one okay for Tuesday? Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Okay. And then, do you want to pay an hour when you pick it up? Uh, I can pay now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so anytime on Tuesday? Yeah, okay. so anytime on Tuesday you should be good. Okay, all right, okay. thank you so much. You're welcome. Where are you? Where are you? It's the end of the weekend. But I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder Too many invitations And the last night was heavy I need communication Tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 Every other second Just to make sure we were up to date Now it's closer to 11 And I ain't hearing nothing I just need to know that you're okay Saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all I crave So I wonder When I need you most We got love guaranteed And I have to know, say To reach, just pick up your phone. Tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know. Hey guys, so I just finished with my hair. I put on a quick little face, and y'all, oh my gosh, this is different from anything that I've ever 
done before and y'all i feel like an african queen like an african princess like oh my goodness like this is so far from anything that i would ever do and i just really wanted to try something different and i'm just so happy that i did like you should have saw bay face when he first walked in he was like you did that by yourself <laughs> i was like yes um, I just watched a couple of TikToks and I kind of knew how to do Bantu knots from tr my trying to do natural hairstyles back in the day, but I've never worn them as a style and then let alone put like any kind of beads or anything on them. But y'all, I really like how it came out. I don't know. I just feel just good and natural and you know, I love it. <laughs> I really love it. And yesterday... I had finished it late last night and we went to the grocery store late last night and somebody was screaming out the car like you're so beautiful you're beautiful i love everything about you i'm like oh my gosh it was just like the craziest most random thing like they were literally yelling out of their truck like how they i guess I w i'm assuming it was there but um yeah i am so happy with how it turned out but yes you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i have to do um a rainbow haul and some content with rainbow so i'm about to get started on that but i just want to come and show you my finished results yes you guys thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and until my next video have a blessed day have a blessed week and i'll see you in my next one bye Let them hold sleep, body on to make your girl OD, I get in my way.